Have you been following any of this NBA, Hong Kong, China stuff, Dieter? I'm trying to, Rover. There's so much, it's confusing. Well, China! People are pissed off at LeBron James, and I'm, I'm actually glad that they're pissed off at him. Uh, because when he came out with a stance on this, I go, what a pussy this guy is. I thought I was the only one that felt that way, but apparently I, I'm not. All I got from was LeBron James is worried about his, his money. That's exactly that, right. That, that's that exactly what it is. not care about the that's, billion people or whatever in that's, China. That is all he cares a, about. Y you're absolutely right on that, Charlie. So uh, for those who uh, may not know what's going on, I believe it's the general manager of the Houston Rockets or some guy. Yeah, yeah. He sent out a tweet. Well, and first it, Hong Kong is like having a rebellion right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in a oh, second. Okay. Oh. He sent out a tweet that said, uh, I'm going to paraphrase, but it said something like, stand up for Hong Kong, stand up for freedom. Yeah. Uh, and he sent that out after, for months, there have been protests going on in Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong was, I believe, a British territory. Uh, they, were, they were under British rule for a while, and then they... Uh, they gave it was that a hundred year like lease on the land or something. Yeah, they then they gave that back to China, but China. they they've been run sort of as their own little uh, area there. And then then after that hundred years, it went back to China, and China, China has slowly been uh, taking over more and more control over Hong Kong and and uh, turning it into like regular China, which yeah. is a dump, China. by the way. And they don't want China sucks. China. Um, I've been to China. It blows. China. Would you agree with me, Charlie? One of the worst, <laughs> yeah. worst places I've ever been. Um, so, so uh, it's no wonder people. And we've been to Hong Kong too. Hong was, Kong, Hong Kong was ass. great. I could see why they'd be like, "No, I do not want to become China sure. because that place was awesome." Imagine if you lived in New York City and it, everything's going great, and then then they want to turn it into China. And exactly, you it go sucks. No, I don't. I don't want that. Um, and they 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 so. These people in, in Hong Kong have been protesting. It, it was spurred on by, I believe, the governor of Hong Kong or whoever eventually caved into China and, uh, China and and signed some sort of bill that would allow extradition from Hong Kong to China, China. mainland China, uh, China, meaning that if they wanted to get you, they could grab you. Uh, as they do with so many people, and they put them in these. Uh, I, I just saw a picture in China of all these like China. hundreds of prisoners blindfolded, kneeling on there. I mean, they 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 can they can disappear you in China. You know, you, you, you they they pick you up. You're doing something they don't like, and they put you in a prison, and no one ever sees from you ever. No, no one ever hears from you ever again. Well, and South Park pissed them off because they made an entire episode kind of crapping on China, and yeah. then. Uh, uh, Chinese government and shut down. You cannot Google South Park. Nothing will come up anymore if you if you look it up. Yeah, they, they've uh, totally erased their existence. It's a totalitarian regime, as Jeffrey Jeffrey <laughs> likes to use the word totalitarian. Yeah. Um, right, Jeffrey? Yes. Um, China is a very old China. school communist country, and um, yeah. So, like I said, totalitarian. Where, where, where they say goes totalitarian. Totalitarian. <laughs> Wait, say it again. It says totalitarian. Totalitarian. <laughs> it means it, it means they they it's just like North Korea. They tell you what to, what you can and can't do, what when what to do, when to do it, blah blah blah. I never heard of it. <laughs> okay, Dieter. Uh, hey, uh, I'm going to take Google the check. Can I get and you'll can I get my about, total dude. on that, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, anyhow, uh, so this 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 general manager, or whoever it was for the Rockets, he sent out a tweet. Again, I'm paraphrasing. It said something like, "Stand up for Hong Kong. Stand up for freedom." And uh, that was it. Well, China, the big babies that they are, they don't China. like that. And uh, China decided that China. they, uh, because of that one tweet, that they were going to cancel everything that the NBA had planned in China. Apparently, a China. lot of people in China like, even a lot of people don't have to like it. They have so many people there that live there that only if 10% of the population in China China. likes basketball or buys basketball crap that's a huge number of people because they have so many what is it over a billion people yeah so that'd be a hundred million people if 10 percent like basketball it's a hundred million people yeah well they had one famous chinese player too china that, oh. uh, uh, the guy who uh um, some Ling. Vito, ho is it ho ming or something Ling? yao ming yeah. yeah something like that <laughs> but anyway they have that guy so once they he kind of transferred it over the the fan base yeah so 
Um, so they canceled. They had some some games, like some pre uh, preseason games or whatever, uh, scheduled in China exhibition China. games, and so China canceled China. all those things. They had television deals and streaming deals for the NBA, and the companies canceled those. And LeBron James came out. What a pussy well, this guy not is. Not right away. Well, not, yeah, People it took about waiting. a week. Yeah. Because, because everyone, so, so instead of anyone backing up this, this guy from Houston, this general manager, they all turned, like the NBA, they all turned on him and they're like, oh, oh, oh yeah, that's bad. All the guy did was tweet, yeah, you're not allowed to do that in China. They'll come and chop your China. eyeballs out or something. And they were kicking fans out of the game. Didn't you see that? They were like they they would hold a pro Hong Kong sign up and you just get booted from the game yeah, immediately. Yeah, um, they were just on their knees I did for see China. That. And uh, so, you know, they, they, the NBA was trying to have it both ways. The commissioner of the NBA is like, "Oh, uh, no, no, no uh, we support human rights and we support uh, freedom of speech." Yeah, kind of, sort of. I mean, they've been wishy washy on the whole thing. So people were sort of waiting to see what the players would, would have to say about this. And LeBron James, again, I don't have his his uh, statement or his well, you tweet. Have, no, Maybe you have this can, video. Oh, I have, have the video? I'm, I mean, this guy. So he did this video first, and then I think he did a tweet clarifying it afterwards. This guy. I mean, I, I can't believe this. This guy who's, who's so willing to stand up for everything. Black Lives Matter. Hands up, don't shoot. You name it. He's got it written on his shoe. Wearing a t-shirt before the before tip-off. You name it. He's done it. But in this case, oh, 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 uh, yeah. I mean, oh. But the players thought that they, they would be punished. Do you think that Daryl should have been reprimanded? Um, I think that's another um, situation that, that should stay behind closed doors. Um, should stay behind closed doors. Oh, that's so fascinating. Really? Really? Because I, I seem to remember LeBron James. Remember the guy in uh, in, in, in Missouri? The, I forget his name. Brown? In Ferguson, the, the hands up, don't shoot guy. You, you remember that? I seem to remember LeBron James making a political statement on that and doing stuff before the games and wearing T-shirts and doing little hands up, don't shoot uh, things. I seem to remember LeBron James doing all of that. Oh, I, I think that should that should stay behind closed doors. We, we are to see what, what, what happens with um, any one of our players or, or with an owner or with a, a GM um, at a later date. Um, I think when we all um, sit back and learn from the situation that happened, uh, understand that what you could tweet or could say, um, and we always talk, we, we all talk about this freedom of speech. Yes, we all do have freedom of speech, but at times there are ramifications for the negative that can happen um, when you're not thinking about others and only on your own. When you're not yourself. thinking so, about um, others, only of yourself. Okay, so for instance, if there is a uh, would would LeBron James be upset? If this guy had sent out a tweet and he said, hey, uh, everyone, please pray for uh, poor civilians getting bombed in Syria. Would LeBron James have, would he say, oh, that, that's got to stay behind closed doors? Of course not. No. No. Because Syria doesn't have any ties to the NBA. When he says think about others, he means clearly him making money in China. It's exactly right. That's all he means That's by that. That's all he cares that the about. the deals in China are uh, going to go through. This guy, phony baloney as far as I'm concerned with this guy. I, I mean, it's so interesting how he can be into all, all of his political things and you're you're a bigot and you're a bad person if you say, hey, that's not the place for athletes to get involved in political protests. And he's been involved in a number of things. Black Lives Matter. I mean... Maybe you should think about other people before you uh, b before you speak up on a subject, LeBron. I don't believe. Um, I don't want to get into a, a word, a, a word, or sentence uh, feud with Daryl, um, with Daryl uh, Morey. But I believe he wasn't educated on on, on the situation at hand. And um... what education does he need? Tell us, tell us, LeBron. How educated are you? Right. He doesn't know. <laughs> uh, 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 between Hong Kong and China, and and China. all of that. And human rights violations. T tell us, please, Professor James. What a douche. 866-YO-ROVER, 866-967-6837. Dave in Binghamton, New York. You're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Dave. 
Hey, what's going on, Robert? Hey, man, what's happening? Hey, thank you. And these NBA players are just ridiculous. They know that they're going to lose a lot of money, and instead of standing up for the rights of Chinese people, they're just towering down because of the money. I you're, mean, it's just you're actually right. asinine because they will they will go against the government, regardless of who's in power now, Trump. Um, oh, I seem to remember LeBron James tweeting, you bum, to uh, President Donald Trump. Now, maybe that should have stayed behind closed doors. Right. Yep. The national anthem, they wore T-shirts during the game for Black Lives Matter. I mean, anything or anything over here, they'll step up and say something because they know they're not going to lose a whole lot of money. And when China basically slaps them in the face, being the bitches that they are, you know, now they're towering and backing down, and it all starts with Adam Silver. Yeah. I mean, it's just absolutely asinine. I, I, uh, I, I was very disappointed uh, that, to, to see something like this. And uh, yeah, the really fact of the matter is the China is China. not a – China, not our friend, not a good country. They no. don't treat their citizens well. They are uh, – uh, they have terrible records on on human rights. You want to you want to talk about the handful of people that are killed by the police over here and make it a big deal. Uh, I, I'm not trying to minimize it. We saw the woman. We'll talk about it later. The woman who was shot in her own home and all that. We can debate that. Blah blah blah. But yeah. um, it, it, it pales in comparison to the to to what oh. China does to people over there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Didn't they just shoot a yeah. protester? Like a week or two ago on the street from Hong Kong, protest uh, yeah. pulled out they a gun. Did, they did shoot out a. Uh, they did shoot a protester over there. Sure, but that's in Hong Kong. I'm not even talking about Hong Kong. I'm talking about mainland China. Yeah. What they do and how they treat their citizens and and uh, uh, the horrible, horrible things that they have done uh, throughout the years. And and f forget even their citizens. Look what they do to the environment. And it's endless. China sucks. China. <laughs> but LeBron James doesn't want to upset China. Because he China. what does he do? Doesn't want to lose any money. Space Jersey business. sales. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nike. I mean, everything. Television streaming rights. Space Jam 2 is going to come out. They're going to definitely want to sell it over there. And if it, if he's in any sort of hot water over there, they just won't air that movie. He'll lose. How much money is? Millions and millions of dollars. How I mean, much does he Dave uh, in Mansfield. You're on Rover's Morning Glory. Uh, well, they all collectively uh, benefit from that, Dougie, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, billions of dollars or whatever flow into the NBA from that, and it all goes, goes. I don't know what happened to Dave. He just dropped off. I have, uh, I have LeBron's tweets here. It says, let me clear up the confusion. I do not believe there was any consideration for the consequences and ramifications of the tweet. I'm not discussing the substance. Others can talk about that. Uh, and then he continues, my team and this league just went through a difficult week. I think people need to understand what a tweet or statement can do to others. And I believe <laughs> nobody stopped and considered what would happen. Could have waited a week to send it because he was going over there, I think, right? Uh, yeah, I think they were supposed to play some games, uh, some exhibition games or something over there. Marcus in Youngstown, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Marcus. Yo, Rover. Hey, What's man. Happening? Yo. So, so, like, he's been, I mean, all of his tweets and all of these protests and everything that he does has been to protect his market. You know what I mean? The hands up, don't shoot. That does not lose viewership. And then now this tweet kind of going against railing against Hong Kong and kind of siding with China again, it's to not lose viewership. He's being consistent at the very least. I don't know as if, if the hands up, don't shoot was, I don't think he did that because he was afraid that they would lose any NBA viewers for that. If he would have done nothing, I don't think, I don't think much would have happened. Right. I, mean, I think there's probably a segment of the NBA market. I probably wanted to see some action there and probably a pretty decent second market that wanted to see some of the leadership in the NBA say something. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. So you're okay. in Youngstown. If, if I learned that the general manager of our Youngstown affiliate, the radio station there was, uh, was raping employees, sales girls or something. I don't even know who the general manager is, but I'm assuming it's a guy just cause you know, I'm sexist. Um, but uh, if he were raping uh, no, saleswomen, um, I would, uh, you know, I, I would say, hey, it's, I don't care if they take my show off the air. I'm, I'm going to say that guy's a, a creep. He's a loser. Lock him up, throw him in jail, whatever. It may not 
The best thing for me might to be to keep my mouth shut, I suppose. You think? But at, at some that's point, right. you have that's, to stand up for what's right. apples to oranges now. Yeah, I understand. I don't think so. Point. What China does to their people and the human rights abuses that China does, I uh, I don't think it's comparing apples to oranges. A small market radio show to China. What's right is right. The human's right. Of, uh, okay. Well, I mean, you're drawing a line in the sand, and that's that's. I mean. But what's what is the you. difference? I mean, so so, so else, he's a very who powerful. Else gonna, uh, who else is going to take that hard line against China like that? Who's doing it? No one's doing it. Oh, I thought Donald Trump was going to do it. Remember, he was going to he was going to uh, label China. them a currency manipulator China. And, China. and all that China. kind of China. stuff. China. It hasn't really China. worked out. China. So I I I I, 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 I don't know. I don't but the fact of the matter is, some things are right, some.